Welcome back to our uh, video series on the play framework using Scala. So we finished the last video where we thought we were at the point where we should be able to send a message. And at first we just did a socket.send and that didn't work because it wasn't open. So I tried to do an on open, but I had done a syntax where I was treating on open like a function and we got a message saying on open isn't a function. Uh, that's because you have to assign to on open. And it turns out that if we do this, and we go to our browser and we refresh, A, we don't get an error over here. And B, if we go look at what happens on the run, after getting socket, it says, got message, test message. So that message is coming through. And you might recall that that print statement is happening inside of the chat actor. Now we're also sending something back which we don't really care about. Now what we wanted to do was make it so that all of these messages come through every time people type stuff. Uh, actually, when it opens, I wouldn't mind sending uh, you know, something through about a, a new user connecting. Okay, and that way, theoretically, everyone would see that message when that happens. Um, okay, uh, so now we need to make it so that when they type stuff, it goes to our actor. So that would be on the input field. We need on key down a handler for this. So an event rocket. And what do we want to do? Well, it turns out for most of the keys, I want to ignore them. Uh, but if the events key is equal to the string enter, that means that they hit enter on it. And I want to take the text that they have, send it through to the socket. So socket.send of the text field, input dot value. And once we've sent that, we can clear out that text field. Okay. Let's see what that does. So of course, we refresh, we won't see too much happen here. Hmm. Input is not defined. I think I've put an input instead of an input field. Indeed, there and there. Okay. F5. Hi. Okay. There. Now, where would this be coming out? Over here on our server. Got message. Hi. Got message there. So those things are coming through. Now we have to figure out how to complete the loop, how to make it so that multiple people can see these messages. And in order to do that, we need to have something in our server that knows about everyone that is connected. So I want to go ahead and create another actor in here. So I have a basic chat actor and I want to create a second one and I'm going to call it the chat manager. Okay, now the chat manager, so there's also a class chat manager uh, extends actor in Akka. And as we saw before, we need a receive method. Since I don't feel like retyping all of that, we can put a receive in here. And I will change this string to manager. Okay. Um, now, this, this actor is not going to get strings. In fact, generally in Akka, this is not the way you want to get stuff, but it's the way that the data is coming through from our, our WebSocket. Instead, we'd rather have specific types that tell us to do different things. And there are two main things that the chat manager needs to find out about. And I'm going to put the types of messages that our chat manager understands inside of its companion object. 
and generally the messages you send around in Akka are either going to be case classes or case objects because they should be immutable. And these are immutable by default in that everything is a val, unless you put mutable fields in it, which we won't do. So the first thing is I want to be told when there is a new person connecting to the chat. And their type will be an actor ref. Okay, because every time that we create a new socket connection, I can get rid of this getting socket, we wind up creating an actor ref for the actor that was created. Let's do an import. The other message that we need to be able to handle is when someone has typed in a message because we need to send that out to all the chatters to add to their text. So for that, we just get a message that is a string. So up here in our cases, one case is going to be a new chatter. I actually am not so fond of having that import there. I kind of prefer importing them just inside the body of my class. That's a style thing that I have. Um, okay, we can come back and think about what goes with new chatter. Oops, and our new chatter should have parentheses with the chatter that came in. We also want a message. Okay, so what happens with new chatter? Well, the chat manager is supposed to be keeping track of all of the chatters that are active and they are all actor refs and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a private var and I'm gonna set it equal to, or I'm gonna say it's equal to chatters and this will be an empty list so list dot empty of actor ref so initially we have no one chatting but every time someone connects they're going to be added to this list chatters cons equals chatter. So we're going to add the new chatter onto the list. Order doesn't matter. They're being prepended, but that's efficient to do with lists. And then when we get a message, we want to send that message out to all of our other chatters. We don't really have ability to do that yet. That would require going into chat actor and giving another type of message here. I'm going to follow the same pattern that I had where I make a case class and for this case class I'm going to call it instead of just message send message because it is telling it to send out whatever the message was and so if we have a case for send message of an MSG this is why we have out so this is where out bang that message goes and import chat actor dot underscore the last thing we well so there's a few more things we need to do on the plumbing here so one is when we get this string we should actually send that to the manager so that string that we got we're not just printing it out we're sending it to the chat manager as a message Okay, well, but we don't have the chat manager. In fact, we haven't created one at all. So we need to create one of those inside of our controller. And it can kind of be the first thing that our controller does is we're gonna make a manager. Okay, and so this is why we have a system is so that we can call an actor of, and we're going to use props here. Because the manager doesn't take any arguments, turns out we can just say we want to pass it type chat manager and I'm going to use the form that has a name and this needs to be imported let's add an R to manager otherwise I'm not gonna like myself in the future okay so we have a manager and there are we need it so that our chat actors know about that manager 
So back in chat actor, we need to make it so that the chat actor gets another actor ref for the manager, which means that we need to pass through a manager that comes into the props, which should cause a problem over here. Okay. Now at this point, we have given all of our actors, all of our chat actors, the manager to hold on to, but the manager still has never gotten a new chatter message. And we're going to do that inside of here. So when a new chat actor is created, the first thing we want to do is tell the manager that there is a new chatter. Now this has to be an actor ref. Normally in Scala and a lot of other object oriented languages, when we refer to the current object, we use this. But that's not happy because this here is a chat actor and this is supposed to be an actor ref. We're not supposed to pass ourselves to other parts of the program. We can refer to the name in Akka for the actor ref that is yourself instead of this is self. Okay. So, let's come over here to our app, I refresh, now nothing's popping up because we're still missing some code on the JavaScript side. We didn't get any errors over here though, and at least from my standpoint, that's a good sign. So we have no feedback to say this is working because I took out the print statements, but at least it doesn't appear to be crashing. We'll come back in the next video. It should probably be our last one for, for this chat. And we will add on the final touches to make it so that you can actually see what other people are typing.